Hello and welcome, I'm so glad you could make it and that you're here today, I'm the Emperor and this is Crusader Kings 3 where I play the game and I try and explain the things that I'm doing, what I'm doing so you can also go and play the game and I do believe that you can actually do just that. Anyone, and I mean anyone, can learn to play this game. It feels overwhelming at first but it certainly isn't. Go watch the full playlist over on YouTube for this. But uh, I think we're doing quite, quite well indeed. Should we accept this ransom? Sure. We'll deal with it. There's another count we can ransom. Doesn't matter. We'll take the 50 gold. Family members can get married. Oh, our daughter is quite old and quite unmarried. Uh, let's see what we can do for her. Despotate of uh, Thessaloniki. I mean... Sure. Could get an internal alliance. But the Thessalonikian despotate is almost 37,000. So we'll take that. That's for sure something. Let's see. And the other one also quite unmarried. Let's see. Definitely matrilineal Lily. And we'll go with... Well, Romanga is also inside of our empire. Most of these are inside of our empire. And they're all quite young. So the problem is if you pick someone that is far too young for a woman of her age, she might not ever have children with them. So we'll have to get age difference... A maximum of, let's say 10. That's still 18 that we can get. So let's go for relevance. I'm not quite sure what he means. What exactly does relevance mean? I mean, he's not good at anything. I don't know why he is relevant for this option. He's not, the, I mean, he's not a terrible knight. He has one singular weird little claim on a county there. Uh, there's some little claims here and there that don't matter to us. Let's, uh, let's go with Alliance Power again. Let's see what we can get there. I mean, there's a lot of eligible bachelors, but... Duchy of Gimio, could you tell something? Duchy of Genoa? I mean, he's lustful, might give us some more children, but this guy's calmly at least, so we would get a potentially decent trait in there. So we'll just take that. It's not ideal, but we'll work with it. I don't want my beloved girls to become spinsters. I will find my answers in the heavens. Let's negotiate some alliances here. Inside the realm, outside the realm, doesn't matter. We'll go with all these little family members here. So they can't join any weird little rebellions against us, though I would be very surprised if we ever do meet a rebellion at this point in time anymore. Then again, weirder things have happened, I would say. So we're earning decent money. We're 10,000 gold. I don't even know if I ever had that much. The Byzantine Empire is busy fighting some internal wars, I think, against the despotate of Thessaloniki, anyway. Aren't they? Yeah. Liberty War. I'm not quite sure if Liberty War actually means that they become free. It might be. So we don't have all that many interesting claims to push here since we already pushed for our wife before. But that didn't help much. So we'll just look through here again. Because I can never remember if there's anything good in there. I mean, it's the whole one duchy there. Servant of the Lamb's fervor increases by 10.
this religion I created for ourselves. Okay, everyone has a claim on that thing, basically. But if Thessalonikia breaks free, that means a little bit less powerful Byzantine Empire. And we're happy about that for sure. Burgundy is in a bit of a uproar here. They want to put someone else on the throne there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, thank you for the heartfelt little poem. Still only artifact claim wars here. So I have a... I have somewhat of a goal. I mean, do we take Sardinia? It would be very easy. They are poor and destitute. They can't really do anything against it. And we have lands right there anyway. And then we could potentially throw a holy war in there. In which we might get utterly destroyed because... These are never as easy as you think they are going to be. But we're we're upgrading some houses, some buildings, so let's uh, continue that trend. And definitely we keep pushing the windmills because those things are absolutely fantastic. Now we've built everything out once and we can upgrade to level 4 castle now, which is lovely. We'll do that first. Always upgrade your castle first if you can afford it and if you are capable of doing so. After that, I think a blacksmith is pretty darn sensible because they keep pushing your troops to be more powerful. Then again, uh, sometimes it might be more sensible to go with something that actually generates you gold directly. So, I will go with, I think, the fields. It's all very expensive, but eventually we might get a return on investment here. I'm trying to take the cheaper options. And in this case, we're just going for what increases the power of our heavy cavalry. Oh, this would be the last upgrade and the best one as well for them, of course. So I think we'll just go for that. Do we have money left? Yes. Not a lot, mind, but some. And that's how quickly that cookie crumbles. We have an inspiration going on. What do you want to do? A book. He is very competent at his craft. Okay, sure. I'll sponsor you. Let's go. Let's see what you can write. I'm very happy that the sponsorships are affordable. Ah, affordable. Oh, Krakow just built post mills. Oh, 0 0.5 a jump in income and a 4% jump in holding taxes and a 4% jump in growth. Like, Expensive, but worth it if we can afford it and we can right now. So let's see iron constitution. Let's get some defenses against sickness and I think I think I think we'll go take Sardinia. They're currently in no war of, of their own So do cumbards or this guy's claims this guy is unlanded so I think instead of increasing the power of a duke, we'll just push for this little lad. How do we have children of... Were you married to one of my girls? Oh, okay. In honor of our daughter and our grandchildren to secure their future. Will attack. So the warning that we just got is about a holy war impending. So there is a danger right there. There is a danger of us losing our troops, or rather the war goal, if the enemy comes out of nowhere. 
We'll just raise our local troops and our men at arms. But the holy wars on this save game are completely bungled. So I have very little fear of that happening. And we'll go straight for the capital if we can manage that, which we should. Let's see. Something about life at court. And we'll just pick whatever gives the thing that says higher quality. You do what you want. I don't care. It's probably not going to be good anyway. <laughs> Might as well let you do whatever. Why is the Basilisa so happy with us? Oh. Uh, the Holy War has just started. And our troops are ready to walk here. Ah, yes. My dear queen. Please. Thanks. Thanks for donating some court grandeur and renown. We do have 240 bombards. And can we set a lad who is actually proficient at sieging? I mean, this is just crazy quick. Alright, we seized an artifact. There the enemy comes. While they're going to try and fight the Holy War, which I think is very lovely, while we are taking their homeland. We just, we, we can win this one through occupation solely. We don't have to fight them at all. You can see our limit here is 150%. Whereas for battles, it might be 50%. Or the cap is plus 150% from that occupation. I don't know. But I don't think we need to actually battle them at all. We can just siege these down. Usually I would look what is the most... You know, what, what brings the best outcome in terms of gold taken, but... Eh. Well, my daughter knows what she does and she indeed does improve the work. It was a 50-50 choice on all of them, so I didn't really bother much. Alright, took a nice little hostage, got a little other thing here. Another grandson. A hey, Christopher. He shall be. So about these prisoners here. You can you can go immediately, don't worry about it. So who do we dedicate this to? Queen Pravdomila of Romanga. To ourselves. Uh, dedications are overrated. Honestly. Um, I'll just go with uh, the two queens. Them we'll dedicate it to. That shall be enough. Alright. And you two get nice Christian servant of the lamb names here. We're getting some decent amount of prisoners out of this. Um, yeah, I know it's it's bad because we're greedy. It gives us a lot of stress to do that, but we have the money, so we'll afford it. Let's see the power we can push for here with this artifact. Oh, we have furniture. I didn't know we had that. I don't think we ever had anything besides this thing. Wow, we have a statue. Let's put it a little bit more prominently. Wow, okay, cool. I didn't know that was a thing. And we had it all the time. I just really literally didn't know. See, that's how you learn. You never stop learning in these games. Which I think is just fantastic. Right, we're just killing off Sardinians while the Crusades are... Oh! Oh? A trinket. The prize scepter. Plus two number of knights. That's a big one. So we'll have to go take a look, honestly. What, what is that slot? Is that a trinket? Literally? Really? 
Can we replace something here? I mean, I'd even lose one of the small health boosts, potentially. Or this. Like, this isn't actually quite good. It has a lot of things going for it. Personal scheme success chance plus 16% is pretty decent, but... Okay, let me check here. It is literally a trinket. This thing is a trinket. Plus two knights on a trinket. That's crazy. Courtly vassal opinion plus eight. Prestige. Yeah, I think we'll kick out the book. The Liebschau Saga. And we'll put that thing in there. And I'll try and keep the the figurines because the small health boost, you know. And our learning lifestyle boost. I think those are pretty pretty nice to keep. Oh god, look at them rip through that little castle thing. Oh boy. Not a chance in Fez. Let's see. I know what you need. 10% chance for higher things. 14% chance. Real inspiration. Ah. To the library. Let's go to the library. I have no good uh, suggestions without that. The... Uh you're just having a look. Okay, wait. Ah, very fine. I could 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 I use could I use its leaves? Am I having this equipped somewhere? Are you trying to use this book to build another book? Hum. Hmm. So yeah, it is destroyed. Mm, no, I think I'll just let him have a look. See, he didn't need to destroy it. We still got an extravagant book out of it. It's pretty diplomacy lifestyle experience past forty percent. Okay, I was about to say this is pretty terrible, but diplomacy lifestyle experience plus forty percent—that's a big one. Portia and guest opinion is also pretty good. Prestige is completely pointless, but that is that is for sure something. Good evening, Edgar Hilario. We are a Christian offshoot called Servant of the Lamb that we created ourselves. That is what we are. So sort of Christian, sort of not. Ah, the enemy. He's finally appearing on the battlefield. And he'll likely try and retake this, but of course we will not have that. We will go and take this. Pope Nikolaus gained 30 opinion of us because of our patriarch's excellent skill in dealing with popes. Should I open the... Ah, yes. Very good. Well, like, that's our religion, really. We have right, which is the problem at the moment. Because we are constantly in holy wars that we cannot win. Actually, no one can win them because they are fought for our faith, but by a Catholic Pope who we cannot convert. So my main hope is really that we'll eventually get all the holy sites that we need by sheer power of random conversions in the world. And then we can mend this schism and kick out the Pope and uh, make clear that the Servant of the Lamb are indeed the greatest. Oh, look, a Sardinian war banner. Uh, I think I don't really need it, so we'll absolutely throw that on the pyre. We could take it, give it to someone, you know, earn some cookie points, but I think this is even even meaner. It's like, oh, look at that. Thank you. Enjoy. Goodbye. All right. So our troops are still standing because, of course, there is a crusade to be waged. And I'm thinking of actually arriving. Not doing anything. Just arriving, mind. Just so the Pope can't say we didn't do nothing. Let's see about our prisoners here. Ah, oh, that's a mass ransom if I've ever seen one. Let's see. Prisoners. I don't think I have any prisoners that I want to keep at the moment. So we'll just mass ransom everyone.
We could also... Ah, oh no, we are, we are all, already organizing our army. So, we are earning the most money that we can earn during a ongoing war. Our daughter and heir, she can marry. Okay, we need to give her someone real good. So, maximum distance in age, 10 years. We will want inheritable traits. And we'll go with some of all skills. So, this honorable adventurer, this handsome honorable adventurer, or this rational atheist who is a robust man. I mean, these are pretty decent options, right? I mean, obviously, he's 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 clearly the best choice. He's the right faith. He's wrathful. He's diligent. He's honest. He will do well with our daughter. For our daughter. So she loses a bunch of prestige. He gains a bunch of prestige because he is basically a lowborn nobody. Well, that's not even quite true. He's a marshal, so, you know. Let's get him into our court and the hand of our daughter. Who we do not need to marry for an alliance. But indeed, we haven't had a child in a while. I don't think we're going to have another child. So our current 16th daughter, she will be the next empress. And she is actually not really quite great at anything. Stubborn, just, impatient, child of a concubine. Ah, well, we'll see. So we'll land. We'll protect... Oh, no. No, 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 no. We, we land here and we immediately start moving. Because the enemy is also immediately starting to move. We just need to move out of here. I don't think they're going to pursue us, so... We just need to get away. Come on, get away. Don't be crushed, please. Okay, they're, they're, they're still following us, so... That's not great. Okay, we're we going to be crushed. Well, it happens. At least we participated, you know. Hmm. Not sure. Okay, now there. Now we're getting crushed. That was a little bit odd for a second. It looked like we were actually winning, but that was only because the the bulk of their army didn't jump on top of us. What a shame! What a big shame! Who could have foreseen this? Ah, horrible, horrible outcome. So, what's going on in Thessaloniki? Uh, hmm. Oh, we don't even have it that far to get there. To where we need to be. Then again, our whole men at arms, all of them were just slaughtered. So, I don't think we'll join the war of our little ally there. They have to fend for themselves. They'll do fine. They don't need me. And our war contribution is second place, but again, it's not going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. This pope is a Catholic pope fighting for our um, our faith. It just doesn't work. Oh, how do we have a courtier that is so good? That is a no one, a lowborn no one. I think we'll put in our duchess instead. She is of standing. She's of a dynasty. Our wife is sitting in her own duchy, ruling. Oh, that's... No, that's not even her. So, yeah. Crusades don't matter to us, sadly. I wish they would. We would have taken <clears throat> Spain, like, three times over already. But no one ever wins. Even if we win, no one gets anything. So let's check our current... So we got Canterbury. We will have to fight the Franks unless the Franks will be converted eventually. Uh, he's welcome to my army. Is he good? Bring him in. I don't care. We can never have too many knights. Speaking of which, how many knights can we have? 18. <laughs> Let's check if we can't reinstate an accolade. No, we cannot in reinstate a single accolade with the knights that we have. That is fascinating. Let's get all these unnamed people here. All these unlanded 
lads and lasses. Let's force them to be knights. And now can we appoint someone? No. Give me strength. Another learning perk. Very good. Restraint. Now we don't need to go for celibacy. We'll go for carefree. Let's lose less stress. Or rather gain less stress. As we gain stress. Which is already very stressful to even think and talk about. So what are ways to spread our faith? Uh, because obviously that is what we need to do. We want to reach Cologne. And we need um, a Santiago. But these are Catholic. Now we've taken a good chunk here. In the center of Europe. And if you can see here the blue borders are our own borders. And you can see already some of our faith is spreading outside of our borders. But some is not a lot. So something we can do. First of all, let's check through our vassals. Make sure that they're all nice servants of the lamb. So we're looking at this symbol here, which is what I selected for this. Um, oh, a queen that brings gifts. She knows her place. Thank you. I appreciate it. So the Pope, of course, is the only... Oh, well, I was quite wrong. There's another one. You convert right now. They may practice their older religion in secret. I don't care. But as long as they're publicly converted, their vassals will also slowly start converting. Because the vassals necessar might necessarily not really know that they're just practicing in secret, yeah? There's another Catholic fool. Come on, see the light. You. My former son-in-law. Who I just made King of Sardinia convert. So there's several benefits. Uh, people of the same faith like each other better. And again, we're trying to spread our religion. There's another way to spread our religion. It's very... It's not super effective, though. You could try and negotiate releases and be like, okay, co demand conversion. This guy, he's a true believer. He won't. Another thing we can do is build temples in border regions. So if we build a temple here, it has a chance of pushing out the religion around there. Um, we can't hold this personally. That's perfectly fine. I don't care. But we'll build them. We'll build a bunch of temples around here. Where we can. So we just look for empty little spots that are in our control. And then we build a temple there. Like this one here. Could be another temple. They have a very, very low impact on that, I think. If they even do. Let, let me check. Let's find a temple at home and see on the tooltips what it says about that. If anything. Let's first get the betrothed married here. Very good. So, this is a temple. And... It... Oh, it helps with control growth. Which isn't exactly the same. I don't think... It... I'm not sure if temples actually spread religion. I feel like it was... Maybe it was in Crusader Kings too. I don't see a tooltip right now that would substantiate my claims, so take it with a grain of salt. But having more temples in your religion does help for sure. It increases further. Let's upgrade this horse bit. What else can we upgrade? I want to upgrade the lower ranked things first, because the higher ranked things are obviously much more expensive to upgrade. As you can see down here. Like silly expensive upgrades. Ah, that's an okay upgrade. And it gives us a little bit of income extra. So we'll take it. Oh, both wars are actually going okay. Ah, well. As I said, the Crusaders are being completely obliterated. Again. See, it's not just me being obliterated in the Crusades. It's also fellow Crusaders. So. 
What else do we have? Ah, I don't care. We could go for a holy war in Maghreb, which could be good, honestly. They are of a different faith. So these are Mulwadi, Muvalari, and these are Ashari, and these are Ibadi. So some people down in the south here might might come around and try and get in there. Servants of the Lamb is slowly spreading into Orthodox territory as well. Which we tried to enforce with putting our own dear wife on the throne there. Sadly, that failed a little bit. So we are allied with the Franks. Not much we can do about them. We are allied to the Germans. We're just trying to peacefully-ish convert them. Oh, might there be a temple spot here somewhere? Now it's all, everything is already built. So Maghreb we might be able to take without anyone interfering in a holy war. They are dangerous. Others might be coming to their aid, you know. It's funny. I can't... I can't declare a holy war for their kingdom here. I think it might be that I need a border to them. This is my patient. We'll take the... A hard, potentially hard option. Like there's a chance that she dies. Um, but since we're that good in learning, we just get to save that life right there, right then and there. She's not really great at anything, but that's okay. She needn't be. She's just there to give me lifestyle experience. And I should have a quick look at our activities and do a feast. Maybe we are a little bit stressed. So let's deal with that. Should we have an honorary guest? Anyone who needs some praise? <laughs> the Pope? No. Ah, let's get the Bohemian Queen here. And start that feast. It's quite cheap. Well, comparatively to what it actually said that it would be costing. So Valencia is no longer in that war. That's good. We could be able to push in there. Our wife and soulmate has died. 39 stress. Good thing we're just having a party right now. But this leaves us a new opportunity to potentially get another wife and a new heir in there or heiress. So we'll switch the age difference to all because obviously if we want to have a chance at another wife we will want to make sure that that wife is actually capable of still having children. So 29 is cutting it a little bit close. It's nice, of course. Uh, Bohemia is... Um, it is a kingdom, you know. Uh, but it is a kingdom within our own empire. So it doesn't really matter too much. Same... Well, Duchy of Salzburg also within our kingdom. Norway isn't in our kingdom, but that doesn't matter. But they're both very beautiful. So going by their traits here. Let's go for some of all skills and see what we can get. There are some geniuses. Always nice. Oh, she's pretty pretty good. Intelligent, hale and comely. A lot of good skills. She brings very little else to the table, but she's also very young. I mean, we are a multicultural people and I have learned a lot of languages so why not go with that let's get the Mahayana religion Burmu Bengali girl in here and onto the throne welcome my dear empress so two things I would like to do first romancer we need a new uh, we need a new soulmate here and she is lustful, diligent, and temperate. Okay, lustful and temperate both in the same person. That's that's curious. Um, we'll write a love poem. Which doesn't do anything. It doesn't really increase or decrease our chances here. Let us have her convert to our faith. This is important to us. And immediately our... Opinions are a little bit better of one another. 
And next we would like to learn her language. Once we're done with the courtship. So I'm waiting for my feast to be done. Which will take a little while because there are still a lot of guests arriving. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anything interesting we can build? No, only very expensive things we can build. Which by themselves are also kind of interesting, so I'm not f I'm not hating on that. Oh. Ooh, last upgrade bit. Do we get anything really cool out of that? No, not really. So, I think we'll upgrade our mana houses. Levy size plus 5% out of this one. And plus 0 0.5 income for 675. I'll take it, thank you. Let's see what do we have here. 666. So... A victory. Very good. We didn't help in that war. <laughs> at all. I think we'll upgrade this one. Night efficiency goes up. Some hill farms gives us some gold. So how have we not lost this yet? I'm really impressed that this is still ongoing. <laughs> All right, let's get mental resilience. Time between mental breaks plus three years. What that means is every time we go up a level in this, things become a little bit worse for us. If we reach level three, we're dead basically. And a break just gives you a whole lot of stress all at once. And you definitely don't want that. So we got the antelope horns hide. We don't want that. We'll destroy it. Gives us some money. The Slovian court politics. We don't need that at this very moment. Then again, I think we'll just replace it. The court politics for this. Ah, it gives us renown though. I'm all big on renown. So once we switch our lifestyle over to diplomacy, we'll have to think to put the diplomacy related artifact in the relevant slot. Let's see, are we integrating titles here? Yes, we are. We are integrating... What are we integrating, does it say? In County of Hallstatt, so we could just... Good God. Okay. I just wanted to double click on that to go there, but... I think we're integrating Bavaria. Yeah, we're integrating Bavaria. All right, now we are here only to make sure to lose stress. So we're not going to do things that give us stress. So everyone will have to pitch in. Wait, did... Did I just get a new artifact? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> Let's see. You're making a poo fool of yourself. Yeah, I have no problem getting a rivalry with our Pope. Gives us 53 stress release. We need that. Oh, no. The crusade failed. So, can't do that. Can't, oh, right. We are at, a, at an activity already. We need to wait. You get a weak hook on the Pope. What can I do with a weak hook? <laughs> Try and imprison him. Let's see. We're looking only for stress relief options, really. Friendship, friendship. Oh, they regale us with the history of the spear. That's why it pops up. We'll talk about this later. Don't worry about it. Let's see. And now a toast to Queen Yaroslava, who is our guest of honor. Let's have it. Let's hear the toast. And a granddaughter who will be named this. 
And since G she is our potential heiress, we'll go with, I don't know, diplomacy? Sure. Does it matter? Not really. We can make it work with anything. We don't need to be a certain thing to get through here. Very good. Look at that. All stress evaporated from one feast after the death of our wife. And soulmate, mind. Not just wife. Wife and soulmate. If it were really that simple to get over such a loss in real life, real life might be a lot less stressful. Let's bring in petitioners here. And Wojtek is within his rights. I don't care. Some mayor is going to lose a little bit of opinion of us. Oof. Uh, I never forget a face. We did it. 300 diplomacy lifestyle. You're right, King Humber. They must convert. Yes. Everyone must convert. Alright, that was decent. Converted some people. And there comes the next crusade. My warriors will be ready to fight for sure. Thing is, now that he's doing it in our faith as a name, we can't even not go. So that's just... That's just very silly. And I can't do holy wars against them. That's really, really odd. So those claims are kind of weak. So we'll just have to go for the whole thing. And this guy might join with his 2,000 troops. I am shaking in my war boots. So... Hmm. Let me have a like, little, little check again with our, our religion thing. Like, we can't convince the Franks to become servants of the lamb. I don't, I don't think there's a mechanic for it. We can't just send anyone there and, and be like, hey, you, convert. We also can't talk him into converting, basically. We could befriend him, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it means something, but it doesn't mean he's gonna convert as such. Let's do the Holy War for a kingdom. We can do that once in a lifetime. So let's have a little quick shopping around here. If there's something a little bit more worthwhile to take, like Arabia. Where is your headquarter? Dear Arabia, is that your headquarter? Yeah. I mean... It's not nothing. Do we really need it? This would be much more neat, I think, getting the Maghreb region. So, this is really just about aesthetics at this point. Like, there's nothing here for us that we need. And the Ash Ashari, eh, that's a lot of people there. It's a lot, a lot of people. Need to push in this somehow. Okay, let's see if we can't do a claim on thing. So we'll take the title, click on this, and we scroll through here. We need men. Too far away. Too far away. Eh, won't come to court. Won't come to court. And they're all pretty, pretty adamant. Like, they just... Getting a woman would possibly be easier, but... You cannot press a women's claim against a culture that doesn't have equality. Can't bring in children, so getting Clemons... You, you can always try and invite Clemons, but... The chances that you get some for what you actually want... Are pretty, pretty slim. So, if we go here... And go invite Clemence. Costs us 1,500 prestige. We'll do it just to show it. Oh, we could train for a... For a tournament. Let's do that. Why not? Some chances of increasing our press. 
which definitely worked. You can get strong out of that. So every time you have that option, absolutely take it. Might be tied to the tourism tournament DLC though. Let's see. Anything else interesting we could do here? Not really. How did Frankia ever get this? I do have a claim on this. But we will have to press it eventually. And they are our ally, so... That would... That would... Put us in a bad spot in the international... A realm here. I'm not offering a favor for that. I'll compliment a taste. That 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 has to be fine. I'm greedy. I'm not spending money unless it directly benefits me, and the chances of seducing her without a gift high enough for my tastes. Okay, very good. We have these smaller ones here to upgrade now. Let's see. Obsessed with the vengeance. Old foes. Look at him. I think we'll go with this. I don't care about losing diplomacy. I am care... I care more about not getting stressed. Or getting less stress. Okay, let's go rescue our beloved. And she becomes our soulmate right then and there. And now we can go learn her language. We already do know a lot of languages. We already have the polyglot trait. So let's see. Here we have bombard station. So we'll upgrade the bombard station. First a little bit more. We have a castle to upgrade here. So we do that first. And a castle to upgrade here. So we do that first. At a certain size, I've talked about this before and a lot. Oh. Ah. For a second I thought, oh look, it's yellow, it's ours. No. Nope. Not everything that's yellow is ours. <laughs> um Okay, who do we break up with? Agnes? Yeah. Bye, Agnes. We never had a wife with you a girl with you anyway. Come on, leave leave the court now. It was nice having you around. How are you pregnant at 58? Oh no, you're not pregnant. You're just potentially seeking someone. I don't know. She would never disrespect me like that. We could dismiss her as a concubine. Get someone else. I mean, I think we'll, we'll do that. Goodbye. And goodbye. Out of the court she went. A new alliance with Thessalonikia. Our courtier and lover. She will be our next concubine. So if she is ever pregnant with our child, she will contribute to the lineage. Very good. How do we break into this? The servants of the Lamb must rule. <laughs> A little bit antithetical, but I don't know what I mean. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We have a prince in our midst who has designs on the Grand Emirate of Egypt. Are you a servant of the lamb? No, you're not. Convert. Blessed be God. And now I will press your claims. 2,100 prestige. For all of Egypt. And Egypt is big. Make no mistake. That is a big, big, big powerful country. They're just very, very poor at the moment. Quite poor. 
and he will become our vassal. The Empire of Carpathia stretches quite a bit. I think we'll take this. 2,100 prestige is worthwhile. Again, the warning about the Holy War. We can ignore it. You might not be able to. So be sure you know what you're doing when you click OK through that. Let's get some banners here. And we'll raise our men at arms. We'll raise the local army. And then we'll just click on raise all. And we'll destroy one of those armies raising. Or two of those armies raising. So only this raises. And I hope this will be enough to get to bound. 30,000 troops or something on the field here. Let's set our marshal to organize the army to earn some money. Or rather reduce how much money we're spending. So now the troops are coming in from elsewhere in Carpathia. Slowly pumping our numbers. Okay, that's enough. So we'll stop gathering the troops. And we'll combine all these. And then we'll make sure that men at arms is all fully raised. Because sometimes you kind of break a few. Now we'll fight our way south. A little bit problematic at the current time to go through Gaza, but... Well... How would you look at that? Um, actually, the claim was invalidated, but... It wasn't invalidated due to... Um, the Holy War starting. It was invalidated due to a change in who is on the throne here. Or rather, due to us losing the dude whose... Claim we were trying to press there. Well, we have this guy still. Whose claim we could press. He's from the kingdom of Syria. And he's a good servant of the lamb, so... We lost a lot of prestige just now. We'll try again. We are not uh, done with you. So, we do the same thing again. It's a little bit annoying, sadly, but... So, first raise all men-at-arms. Then raise local army. Then raise... All and then stand down a bunch and wait for them to fill up. And we'll fight our way through here directly down to Cairo, where we will try and win the war as quickly as we absolutely can. So now the troops are flowing in. We want around 40,000, will be perfectly. Adequate. Ah, we become friends with the Frisian king. Whose lands we have taken. Yeah, yeah, sure. Come on. Let's be friends with him. Alright, look at that. Our enemy just arrived right next to us. Let's see if we can't reach him before he leaves. That way we would get a nice little combat victory right there with about half his army and we might even fetch the other half before they board no we're not so we're just gonna siege this down let's see what he does okay I'm not sure he's exactly certain what he's doing about a 40% immediate jump start to this. I take it. He's probably going to try and siege some stuff here. That is alright with me. I let him. It's not gonna go well for him. So you always want to siege down the castles in your way. Because right now I can wander unhindered through the lands. I'm not suffering any attrition. But if there were a castle here or there we would suffer attrition. You always need, basically, a castle that you control, including one that you sieged, in direct line without an enemy castle in between you and your troops. Coastline also helps a little bit. 
But if you move elsewhere, where you don't have a direct supply line from the outside, basically, your troops are going to suffer some heavy, heavy attrition. All right, we got a nice little stone out of this one. So let's say I want to walk right there. Okay, it, it, it would actually work. But let's say I want to walk here. Oh, that would also work. Let's go here. Also working. Okay, well, my point stands. <laughs> we'll walk directly on Cairo now. He can take these completely irrelevant bits and pieces there. Ah, we learned the Magadi language. Very good. So now we can speak with our wife. Look at that. We have 11 out of 15 languages. Let's see. Let's see. Can't we more... Can't we get more languages here? Our country is vast. There should be more languages in here that we can learn. Yeah. Baltics. Let's learn the Baltic language. So him occupying a little bit of our stuff doesn't matter so much. What you want is all the stuff in the dotted line areas. That's what you want. And of course taking their capital always has a nice little chance of just capturing their king or the heir or something similar. So getting those big bits out early, that's that's some big important stuff right there. Of course having the stuff that you just taken being taken back, eh, that reduces your war score a little bit. But Cairo is certainly the bigger prize. Including money-wise. 178 gold out of that one. Sure, I'll take it. Any day of the week. Uh, you want to make a weapon. How good are you? He wants to forge a magnificent weapon, but he's merely decent at it. So no thank you. Um, relinquish a magnificent tapestry. Now. That's hanging on my wall. Don't you understand how that works? Okay, we've seized the nice little artifact. Sadly, we didn't get anything super important in that siege. So no super worthy prisoners or anything. Let's take the next castle. We are good on supplies still. New learning perk. Let's go. Restraint. I'm not going to go for celibacy. Not now. Not as we are so close to... I don't even know. Something. Butr Egyptian army. No. Never good enough against the plus one knight. And we can destroy this. Gives us some gold. No one needs it. Oh yes. A dynasty legacy. So we finished this up. Home estate. No. Uh, we finished this up under him. We went here. Let's see. Spouse opinion plus 10, constant care, fewer complications during pregnancy. It's either that or that. I think constant care. He has a big, big family. He's all about kin. And I can't resist the medium health boost as it presents itself right there. For all of the following rulers. Let's see, what do we have? Another nice little prize to take here. Adultery with our daughter. Unacceptable. Children lack guardians. Yeah. <laughs> they absolutely do. Okay, let's go through this, maybe. What are you? You are military, so... Marshal, take care. What are you? You are... Learning. So, our court physician will take care of you. You are what are you? You are Marshal, so... Our Marshal will take care of you. I really haven't looked into this at all. You are learned. Of course, I would be the best option for learning, but we, we have other things to do than actually raise anyone in this family. Constant care, I tell you. Constant care. Just not from us. Go learn with the acclaimed knight. 
You there, granddaughter. What are you up to? Learning. Oh god, I think I looked at the wrong icon for a bunch of these, so... Ugh. Court physician. Let's go. There's so many children to educate. Another learning one. Right. The patriarch can take care of you. What are you? Another learning one. Another boy for the patriarch. What are you? Ah. A steward of the realm. Our son can take care of you. Yaroslava. What are you? Oh, look at that. Diplomacy focus. Our wife will take care of you. What do we have? You, why are you so sick? Stop being sick. Milomira will take care of you. Don't get her sick, though. And another learned boy. Our knight will take care of him. And that's all the ones I have actually control over. Huh? Hey, Constant care. We care about our family. Oh, no, we lost the Siege of Hebron. At least they're not going for Jerusalem proper. Okay, so now they want to retake their little capital, I would wager. But that's not going to go well for them. Because they will meet us. Right on the way there. And we will likely destroy this army. I would be surprised if we didn't. Oh, look at that. Our cavalry is not reduced at all. Just completely obliterated him right there. So be it. Alright, and we are in a crusade right now, so... I don't know, where are we crusading to? Here again? Of course. It's always somewhere in Spain. What bit of Spain do we attack? I will go here, because it's very close to our stuff, and we can just uh, go through the Algerian Strait of Gibraltar. And quickly get to our own nuns. So, let's see. Another Bistric, huh? Who are you? Ah, uh, no. He'll be a Benedict. And he'll be a fighter. Good little fighter. Why won't this go? Oh, we got the little armor here, which we can destroy for 80 gold. We'll take that. Thanks. All right. Now, we have a bunch of... A bunch of prisoners. Which will convert and release. Basically. I don't care about anything else. We just want to spread the word. Get that religion out there. We're obviously not in the right place for that, but we are converting. Sadly, there's no mass action for this. I wish there was. But there isn't. See, we're super merciful. We just want you to see the light of God. Okay, well, you don't you don't want to. You also don't want to? Okay, fine. Then all of you stay in prison. I mean, this guy has been in house arrest for 26 years. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, God. All the messages that will now come in. Oh, good God. Oh, no. Yes, yes. Farewell, thanks. Ooh. A hundred and thousand. How many? I mean, we bring two hundred thousand, half of which is mine, if I were to bring them, which I am not. I am not raising all my troops for this silliness. Okay, where's our money going? If you feel like you're earning too little money, always check if the church is pulling full. Sometimes they don't. But honestly, it's just our troops being on a ship. That is extremely expensive. So if we land there now, we will be immediately crushed. 
Like there won't even be a discussion about it. So instead of landing there, blindly running into an army that it will immediately destroy us, we'll land here. And another little boy. You will be this. And you'll get someone who's good in that, just not me. Oh, Stuart, there you go. Enjoy. So, let's see. Can we put our troops somewhere where they can take on supplies again? I will send them there. A little bit split. Along the coastline here. And maybe, maybe, if these other 100,000 Crusaders show up, we will, we will be inclined to help. Because right now, I sure am not. You don't have to go so far. That's all we're going to wait for. Is this a different inspiration? Oh, yeah. He wants to... <laughs> Just consider the master by a peers. Sure, let's go. I will sponsor your little trip to Europe. Let's see what you can bring us. Make sure our guys are in places where they can actually take on supplies. Eh, more adultery. I don't mind. Let the people have their fun. We can only ransom him, and I'll take the 100 gold. That way I don't have to feed him. Okay. Let's see. Instincts. Artwork. I would like another statue. I'll just trust you with your instincts. Just do your thing. You know what you're doing, I'm sure. You are, after all, a master traveler. Okay, 75,000. That's not nothing. King Engelbert has become our marshal. Oh, you can't be fired, can you? Uh, great, and he's absolutely horrible at everything. Good stuff. I hate it when they weasel their way into our positions. We learn Baltic. Yes. You don't even have a language to teach me. What are you? Got these spy events. I swear. Anyone here got a language to teach me? God, you're also boring. Let's find a language to learn. Ah, our Frisian friends. They will teach us a language. So the Crusaders are coming in from there. Now we are a little bit far away. But we can go scout. Oh, uh, something I wanted to try. Something I wanted to try. So I'm looking for very small levy armies like these. Okay. So the big one goes there. But this little one, what we're going to do, is we'll just strip, these, these will be our scouts. These will be our scouts. Because I was thinking, why in, in Crusader Kings 2 I could send my, my counselors, like my spy master or something could set them on the map and be like, okay, do your thing there. But here it feels like, okay, I don't really have much of a choice in scouting. But if I use my army like that, there's always small amounts of levies that I can use for this kind of stuff. So we can be a little bit more certain about our enemy's movements. All right, okay. And obviously we won't mind if we lose 11 men doesn't matter to us 
So they're all walking north. Or they're putting up defensive positions against us. Or they're just coming for these dudes. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're coming for these dudes. They don't like my scouting them. But we can see them well enough even without our scouts. And there's always more where those came from. And if they do dare to come across the strait, they will absolutely be butchered. So right now we can see that they're kind of stuck there. This gives our allies some room to maneuver. And we could also always put a good commander in here. For example, I hear I have a Bavarian king who would like to be a commander. I hear it's his most precious desire to lead an army. A real army. After all, he made himself our, our marshal. So who better to lead than him? Sure hope nothing happens to him. Yes, my queen. Thank you so much. Effort, all that counts. Let's see, eight out of eight. Shame. What can we do with a religious tab? What's going on here? Why is this not... Hmm? Why is Jerusalem not fully under our control? What is this? Gula. Count Misben of Jerusalem. You convert right now, right this instance. How dare you be anything but the right faith? Blessed be God, indeed. Unacceptable. So we are locking down the entire Muslim army with this right now. We're a little bit undersupplied, so I don't like that. Let's split a little bit here. Gotta be careful, though. Don't want the enemy to get any weird ideas. And we want to have a chance to pounce in case they do something. Can we get these guys out there? No. Oh, I hope nothing happens to King Engelbert. Phew, I am so relieved nothing happened to King Engelbert. Clearly he is the right man for the job. He survived it before. He can do it again. <laughs> okay, so the enemy has decided to come attack us. Which, of course, I'm not super fussed about. I'm not a big fan of that. But they are doing a straight crossing here. So we'll see. My brave daughter was killed by this lad here. Servant of the Lamb appears in the Duchy of Palestine. Not where we need it, but I am fine with that. A feud against House Yafid. God will smite the evil. Wait a moment. Malika of Castile. If I get a feud against them, do I have a Casus Belli? Yeah, we'll start this feud. 
Okay, so we're, we're definitely gonna get beat here. Just because numerical superiority. So my little plan didn't pay off quite as well as I would have hoped. But we'll see. Um... Yeah, nothing but a miserable bump put. I don't know, some some weird little lady there. Doesn't matter much. Oh god, we lost a lot of men. A lot of good men there. I can tell you, the one lad we did want to lose, we didn't lose. <laughs> But maybe the rivalry was our entry ticket into Spain. Into Castile. And maybe we have given the Crusaders enough room to navigate there. Another child of our dynasty. I don't care. All about the kinship here. We learned the Dutch language. How many languages can we still learn? Two more. Let's find some more languages that we can learn. Do we know Irish? Not yet. Goidelic. Let's go with that. All right, our army is put back together. Did we give the Crusaders enough room? No. They are being crushed now as well. I mean... We tried. We gained the... Aw. We have been lovers for such a long time. Let's both be loyal to each other. Loyal is a cute trait, I think. And we will be... With the Tress. Loyal to our lover. What do you want? Oh, you misheard. I call them a serene and a star. Did that work? Yep. Worked. I tricked him with my mighty big emperor brain. That brought you such victories as... Being crushed at the Strait of Gibral Gibraltar. <laughs> well, our contribution is high, so if we ever win this, you know. <laughs> I would love to be able to stand on my army, but... Alas. No such luck, not for us. So we'll just keep them here. And wait for this crusade to be over. Castile is really... Really holding on to itself there. It's crazy. We have some money to spend on buildings, so we shall. Let's, uh, you know. Doesn't really matter. Let's upgrade this. I say it doesn't matter, but I tend to go for the things that give us an immediate benefit, such as this one here, increasing our bombards. But apart from that, I go for what gives us immediately money. Basically. And which is kind of cost efficient, ideally. Or, in this case, again, we have our heavy cavalry here. Ow. Another friend. And upgrading them fully, absolutely worth it. Even for the quite extensive cost. Here we got our pike. So we'll upgrade this a little bit more. Make the pike better for a substantial amount of money. Here we got our archers, so we'll just go with this a little bit more. Here we got our spronosh, spronosh, spronosh. So, do we have anything specifically men at arms? Oh, but this is juicy. Well, 0 0.4 gold is not that juicy, honestly. But it's a fully upgraded windmill. We haven't had that before, so let's do it. Let's check also if our Zbrnushi are pretty full. So, full heavy cavalry. 
these guys we can have more of, but let's check. 95, 74. What deals the most damage beside our horses? Ah, oh, yeah, the archers. But they're already full because they're retinue archers and not just regular archers. We gained the Quarry and Carpathia artifact. Thank you so much. I'll destroy it at my earliest convenience. Uh, yeah, I think our heavy cavalry here, these guys are the next, uh, oh, sorry, heavy infantry are the next strongest thing that we have. Do we become a witch? At our old age. Nah, we're all about the faith. Be gone, devil. So let's build this up. We'll fully stock it out. Full army here. I think the next thing that I would want to fully stock out is maybe the bombards? Maybe? Probably the pike more than anything that we have left. Honestly, let's just do it. We are earning enough money now. Oops. The heck? We are rich enough now for these kind of things. Make ourselves a little bit more formidable. I don't know, you guys are losing food. Let me help you. Everyone's losing food. It's crazy. I don't think the Crusaders are going to win this. I have a feeling. I don't know how I'm getting this feeling, but it's just not looking too great there. Okay, yeah, more secrets in court. Yes, yes. So we have, I think, 150 years left in this playthrough. It'll be interesting to see how far we can take it. Um... Bandits on the road. Eh. We'll just pay them to let us pass. I don't care. What I do care about is destroying that thing. Quarrel in Carpathia. Thanks, but no thanks. Catalan sword. So many interesting things here. Okay. Uh all right, we, we got we got this out of this. The notorious Fox of Valdeck. Well I would like to say this was the worst investment ever, but I'm not quite sure if it actually is. Everyone is having lovers. Why is this even a secret anymore? Come on now. Officer of the Empress's Banner can be reinstated. And it is actually true. It's not a lie for once. I'm impressed. Okay, so the crusade is done. No success, of course. We feel accomplished having learned yet another language. So, these guys are our rivals. And we have nothing to declare war for against them. Come on, just let me... Like, an artifact war is completely pointless. <sighs> Doesn't help us whatsoever. Let's see. Who, who can we attack? What can we do? Who needs a helping hand? Seeing the light. I mean, of course... Uh, you know what? I think we will just take Maghreb. Then again, I'm a little bit uh, worried about the legality of my actions down here. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Nah, we're, we're, not, we're not decent in terms of money. We want a little bit of better, better buffer. Ah. <sighs>
I'll consider joining. I'm not going to pledge right now. The papacy needs to be absolutely abolished. So how are we doing on, on this issue? It's Malik Hamada's time. So do we kill him or her? I think we'll kill him. We'll try anyway. We haven't killed anyone in a long while. Have we ever killed anyone? I don't think we have. Everyone wants us to join their grand weddings and stuff. Okay, fine. We'll go to a grand wedding. For a recreation. Costs us four gold. Let's... <laughs> Oh man, the writing. That animation is just precious. God. If I could only make my steward shut up. Just, I don't want to hear it. Stop it. Oh, new chancellor. And the powerful vassal who wants the job is actually decently equipped for it for once. Okay, you know what? I mean, we're creeping towards Cologne, but only ever so slowly. Our murder plot was exposed. Oh, no. Let's get healthy. Medium boost here. So we'll abandon the plot. going on here a court artifact nothing interesting this thing that we got absolutely pointless I'm still so psyched by the by the statue I never had one I like this now we feel proper royal How do we get Catholicism into the Franks? Let's befriend the man. Let's see if that helps us. Oh, that wedding isn't so far away. All right. So we have some house guards stationed here. Let's make those a little bit better as well. On the cheap, Tarno can be upgraded. And we got bombards, so we definitely go with the workshops here. Pending crusade participation, yeah. Oh no, our, our marshal died. The one we never could fire. Oh no. That is so deeply unfortunate. However, did that happen? <laughs> I want to pump up the night effectiveness. Ah. Lovely. Now we go through all those events which we don't care for. Um. Yeah, my warriors will be ready to fight again. To lose again.
Totally our son and steward will get this. I mean, we could just send our whole army for once. We could do that. But then again, we could also not do that. You understand? Uh, let's pump our light cavalry to full. Honestly, let's just get everything full. We do have the money. It, of course, is always extremely, extremely costly if they get crushed. So, if you do that, if you have all your men-at-arms really, really up to scratch. Uh, Private Army plus one Dynasty Legacy. Slavian plus four. Okay, we could have even another regiment. Question is, what should we have? More armored horsemen, I should think. Though in their basic form, I don't think they're that great. Well, they're still pretty darn great. The little bit of damage reduction here. It does count a little bit, but not enough, really. If you put them in places where they're really well supported. Nah, I don't care. I'm just here to reduce stress. We could also go with crossbowmen, we don't have any of those. And they're pretty good against everything. I think crossbowmen might actually be the way to go. Yeah, let's go with crossbowmen. We don't have any yet. Uh, diplomacy lifestyle perk might be unlocked, or she gets a lot of opinion of us. Intrigue. Eh. I'll go with this. Diplomacy lifestyle perk unlocked. Crazy stuff. Uh, benevolent intent. Nah. Thoughtful. Nah. Room to rule. Maybe. Maybe. There might still be children. Might still be children. Actually, it goes for all the children. Even the ones we have. So they are just kind of pumping right now. <laughs> all of our kids are just getting better and better. So she got a plus two diplomacy. All right. Didn't make her great, but made her a little bit less worse. So this works retroactively. It's time. Can we station them anywhere? Do we have a holding left? No, we do not. Tana would be better. I can manage things for me. I don't need to leave the wedding. Congrats. Bye. So we're still fully reinforcing everywhere. But of course the Holy War has started. And I'm still very much opposed to committing all of our troops to this. Very opposed to it. Like, we could win, but we're not getting anything out of it. This will probably bug me until the end of this game, but it gives us a nice little target to do actually, to, to actually do something. We need to get control of those holy sites. That's what we need to do. So we can mend the schism and get rid of the Pope finally. But sadly, we're allied with everyone who we need to attack to make that happen. So that's not super great. I think we'll send a few troops. We'll, we'll send our local army with these guys into battle. Just so we show up. Just so there's no angry yelling at me about not showing up. Uh, sure, bring your daughter in. She's not great, but she'll do. Sadly, our Bavarian king is no longer here to lead this amazing expeditionary force into battle. So let's put someone else in who we don't mind losing. 
Let's see. Uh, the Princess Ducia, she just wanted to join, didn't she? Are you guys running away from me? Are we not friends? Uh, let's attach to the bigger army here. So our troops will just walk around with the bigger army now. We don't need to control them anymore. That way, we contribute. Mm -hmm. That needs to be enough, I would say. We have befriended the Emperor of West Francia. So... How do I convince you that you are following the wrong faith? How do I convince you of this? He already has a friend. I can't be his best friend. No. How do we even know that? Does he have a friendship bracelet? Enemies left the war. Okay. The Holy Orders are all engaged. All in the Great Holy War. Servants of the Lamb Company of Terracina. And our troops are going to be crushed in just a second. Yep. There we go. What? How is our contribution so low? We did everything we could. I don't understand, Pope. What did we do wrong? <laughs> so West Francia is going to be a little bit of a problem. I think. Can you die soon? No, you're very young and you're healthy. I'm probably going to die before you. I mean, I have a lot going for me in terms of health. We'll see how far we can get. But why are you not getting pregnant? Or you. Okay, let's kick this uh, concubine out as well. Kreva. I don't think that's... Kreva. Is that something that... No, nope, doesn't belong to me. Enjoy, build your temple. So we'll kick out Yaroslava. And we'll get ourselves a new concubine. Let's see. Ideally someone young who doesn't have the lover's pox. Oh, you know what? We could just get that princess that uh, he sent to us to take care of. That's definitely what he meant. When he was like, hey, can my daughter join your army? And I was like, yeah, sure. I'll train her. I'm sure that's what he had in mind. But he, he shouldn't have asked if it wasn't. Okay, so we have unlocked Hall of Body. Now, now comes the thing. We're going to switch to Diplomacy Focus. Because we have that amazing artifact that is going to push us a little bit. And then we can go a little bit in Family Hierarchy. Which really works. So we're going to get Family Focus. We keep everything we have over here except for this. Um, and now we can work our way through here. We only need to do something. We need to get our artifact in there. And I think it was a court artifact. So we go to court artifacts. We check on our books. Month renown plus 5% is pretty big. And we'll switch this out for Slovian court politics. Plus 40% diplomacy lifestyle experience. A friend of ours died. Oh, shame. King of Frisia. Hurts my soul. So. What else can we do? Could have wards. Eh. Let's seduce her. 
Our concubines should also be our lovers, I feel. Oh, it would be nice to get another heir here. Ah, let's hold court. Let's see what the people need. Okay. A war against King Martiska of Sweden. Okay, he wants me to press his claim or he leaves. Sure. I'll go to war. Um... Okay, we'll, we'll send someone disguised to places. 81% chance of that working out. It worked. And what do you want? My lord is a wise and pious woman. Has been collecting a son of her. Um, please stay and teach me more. I don't care. Just get out of my sight. I mean, sure. It's no skin of my back if you do that. Right, so we are now at war with Sweden, can you imagine? Sweden, the mighty, mighty Swedish kingdom. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's serious business. Let's get a blue flag so the blues fight the blues. And we'll just raise our men at arms. This will be quite enough, I, I, I would imagine. Shame about Regelinda. She was useful. Okay, I suppose you thought I was... To disguise uh, Regelinda as Juliana. Alright. Only a fool would not appreciate that benefits. Strong diplomacy wins over everything. Eh. He saw through our ruse. Shame. So we'll raise our armies here and we'll attack Sweden. I mean, it's a, it's a marvel that Sweden has been independent in this uh, size as long as it has been. So we've got some bombards in this army and we've got some bombards in this army, meaning we'll go for two sieges at once. Because whatever he can send is not going to be enough to be a threat to us anyway. Ah yes, my queen. Thank you so much for your contribution to the crown. It is appreciated. Family members can get married. Huh. Yeah, I'll... Can ask our head of faith for claims. That she of. Oh my god. Ostfalen, okay. Well. At least I have an idea where that is. Somewhere in Germany. Right, so. Okay, the Swedish army is there. I don't know where they're going. But I'm sure we'll find out. We'll just take these two things and wait until the war is done. We had a faction targeting us. Are there more factions targeting us? Oh yeah, look at all these peasants. Look at this fool. Convert. That's your problem. You're not of the right faith. That's why you want out. Blessed be God. So we have reached a position where we are kind of very, very powerful. Like Both against outside and inside influences. There's really very little that is a threat to us anymore. Uh, let's just go siege something down here. Though, of course, I'm a little bit afraid of losing my troops. They are expensive after all. But maybe the crusade is done before we ever arrive. 
so this is a position, if you get to this, or a similar place, where you're that powerful, where you feel like, okay, I'm on top of the world, no one can touch me anymore. Uh, be wary. That's when the when that's when the mistake starts. For me, that's generally how it goes. Heart of the family, close family opinion plus fifteen. Yes, that's what we have been striving for all our lives. A little Milos, our great grandson. Oh yeah, a little Alexander. Will he be? Yes, yes. So suddenly, now that we have concubines, our dynasty is literally exploding. 564 living members, 36 houses, 152 just from the main branch. Truly prolific. A board game? Yes. And we'll go for the learning challenge because, well, we are just so much better than anyone at learning at the moment. <laughs> Why wouldn't we go for the learning challenge? And this guy here is now our vassal because we pressed his claim. What other wars could we declare? I mean, 16, that's a bunch, you know. Ah, yes, the Basilissa. All the claims. Oh. Our daughter. For the Byzantine Empire. Should we try that one again? We did it before for her mother. I know. Don't say it is so. I think we might. Let's kick the Byzantines again. So they're not going to become part of our empire. That's not how it works, but... At least it would be in Servant of the Lamb Hand. You know? Then again, she has claims on Carpathia as well. So she might turn around and be like, Oi! Gimme all of that. <laughs> I don't know if I want that. Plus they have a lot more money than us. That is definitely something to consider. No, I don't think we're going to do that. That's a lot of work. We have other things to consider here. For example, the Scots. <laughs> no? Fine. Okay. So... Sure. We want it to be... Her to be our lover. That way around. Oh god, please stop. So we have a theory why this is happening. The theory is, if you haven't watched the other episodes, that the fervor between the Catholics and the Servant of the Lamb is always high enough to constantly have these crusades, which never accomplish anything, even if we win them. It's just horrific and horrendous. But I said we would play another 150 years here. Yeah? But at this point with the Broken Crusades, I feel maybe we should start a new campaign. Start from scratch again. See what we can do. Maybe start a true beginner's campaign. Meaning starting an island. A true beginner island. Because at this point I'm not really teaching anything much more. We're just kind of playing and sometimes we're answering some questions here and there. I mean, we'll just take the claim. It's a pressed claim after all. We'll, we'll, we can push it anytime we want. And if we go to war with Germany over Lothringia to get Cologne, might as well. Might as well. Um, now uh, we must finish what we started. 
I don't care what you want. They killed my daughter. They need to die, which... Okay. I think we're gonna get serious about this now. You there? Give us a claim here. Make it a good one. You are very learned. I'm sure you can figure it out. DM matriarch. We have no court position. Oh boy. Uh, we'll go with this guy. He's excellent for it. Should we put in a court tutor? I mean, we have so many children. I think it might be a good idea. Let's... Yeah, sure. Our granddaughter can do that. Where did this pointy hat fashion come from? Why does everyone have a pointy hat all of a sudden? What is this? Carnival? A feast that we don't have to pay for? Sure, we'll go. I don't even consider risks anymore. It's just we, we just do things. That's the state of the game after some centuries. But everyone can get to this point where you can just literally do whatever you want. Pretty much. So let's try and beat him. Why not? We win the fight, yeah. We're what? 61? Obsessed with vengeance. Losing weight. Because if we stop, we're gonna be obese almost immediately, which makes no sense because we're strong. Well, we're not athletic, but... We have done things. Who are you? You are learned. I've never had anyone tell me our future, and we're not gonna start with that now. Thanks, bye. Go away. Troth can marry. Sure. Let's check the titles can be created. The Empire of Italia. We, we don't want... Well, actually, we could have more Empire titles. I believe we actually do have more Empire titles. Uh, we'll ignore this. Yeah, we'll ignore this. Kingdom of Estonia. We do not have enough gold to create the title. Are you kidding me? Okay, the game is clearly wrong. We can absolutely create the Kingdom of Estonia. It's nothing preventing us from that. White Rus to Hurt. Palmyra. Moldavia. Empire of Italia. Which would give us a proper claim on a lot of these things there. I mean, Empire titles will take. Why not? We have a single successor, so we don't need to worry about them breaking apart. We can have as many Empire titles as we like. We already have some. Empire of Italia, Baltic Empire, Empire of Russia, and Carpathia. Let's have some fun now. I hope we get a little... A nice little claim produced here. We're going for Al-Andalus again, so we could easily attack them. If we wanted... The independence faction has been disbanded. Eh? He has finally seen the light. How do I get this? How do we get our faith in here? Well, there's nothing much for it. We'll just have to take it by force eventually. String storages in Tarno. Let's upgrade these in size. They can be 23. Why can they be 23? That's crazy. Let's get a bunch. Dong, 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 dong. Yep. <laughs> Expensive, but worth it. So these are 147 to 64.
So we couldn't put them anywhere where they would be stronger than our archers. I would go with the good folk mingle so everyone there gets a better opinion of us. Can't put them anywhere that would make sense. So the thing is, we could have more holdings, but stewardship gives us plus, plus three, which is a problem because the next ruler might not have that. So going above that is a little bit of an issue. Someone is a murderer. Eh, well, aren't we all somewhat... Well, we tried once, but we kind of failed at it. Ah, oh, we made a new friend. Here, here. I never much liked her. Doesn't really matter, apparently. I'll we'll just hear here and be a courteous guest. Wait, can't... Can't we restore, like, the Holy Roman Empire? <laughs> you must control at least three kingdom titles. Okay, we can do that. Kingdom of Estonia. Done. Mine. Kingdom of White Rus. Done. Mine. Kingdom of Taher. Done. Mine. So I have restored the Holy Roman Empire before, but why not do it again? Just so you know it's doable. So once we're done traveling, we can actually form the Holy Roman Empire. Which should give us some claims around here as well. Okay. No, we, we don't want to shike them. We want we want something bigger down there. We want the whole duchy. I'm not going to war for single counties. Are you kidding me? I barely go to war for anything. Okay, definitely always take the improved pastures option if there's a possibility for it. So... How are we going to throw our troops away this time? And what troops shall we throw away this time? Let's see, get the blue flag here, and we'll raise the local army. We'll, we'll send 12,000 for once. You know, it's all levies, they're completely useless, but... They are there. Will he travel over us? Very good. Okay, so now we can go ahead and restore the Holy Roman Empire, and we shall do that. This gives us the following things. We get the Holy Roman Empire. Well, very good. Becomes our primary title. I don't like that. I don't like that too much. But all complete, any, complete, any completely controlled kingdoms outside of Italia will become de jure part of the Holy Roman Empire. So everything we have right now will be de jure part of what we have. It's pretty good. Uh, we will gain princely elective succession. Don't like that at all. Don't like that at all. So we would have to switch that immediately. We gain equal succession. We already have that. Um, do I want to do that? I don't want princely elective succession, honestly. No, nah, I don't think we're going to do that after all. <laughs> I worked so hard for what we have. Let's not spoil it. Personal scheme succession against family members. Rescue house members' classes belly, unify the house classes belly. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe interesting. Maybe. We'll see. Why can he not leave me in peace? Leave me in peace, buddy. So how are we allied anyway? What 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 makes our alliance go round? This prince and what are you? You're my daughter? No, you're my son. So if I kill her, that finishes our alliance. We could enforce a divorce, you know.
cost us a little bit. It's easier than killing her. Let's enforce this divorce. No more Frankish alliance. Oh no, what a shame. Come on, my boy, I find you a new wife. How about that? Someone in Pulabia, maybe? <laughs> Kingdom of Bohemia? Huh? Huh? Come on, let's get the Bohemian line going here. Any spy masters required? Oh, look at that. Good options right around the corner everywhere. So, once we're done with that silly crusade, we're gonna come for this bit down here. Get another holy site under our wing. I'll just go with socialize a bit. Degraded friendship. Oh no. So our troops are happily traveling alongside with others here. Yes, my queen. Thank you so much. Why would I ever want to go for an elective? Crazy. Just crazy. Take the reins. Now. There's some projects you would like to do. Okay, we encourage his improvements. That's fine. So here we have a successor potential one. No, we do not. Oh, we do actually. Duzika. Very good. She's actually doing much better than I expected her to do. So we could, of course, create, create new accolades. I should probably create new accolades. Viera. Will you be a good accolade knight? Contender. I really don't care. Idealist, perfectly fine. The Silver Maiden. Yes, another daughter into your army. Let's go. And we have a direct successor as well. How have we become obese? I have been trying to lose weight my whole life. Okay, our grandson Bistrik. Come on now. <gasps> they fixed it. I can force a knight here. Oh man. Okay, so we could try and switch these out, but I'm just... So he's a mentor and a thug. Number of knights plus one, sure. Let's go. We'll just have more and more accol uh, accolades. Accolated knights. Where are our troops? A mighty, mighty army. Shipping towards the enemy lands. I want to mend the schism. I think that's how long I'm going to play this, at least. Or I'll try to mend the schism. We're so close. Not sure if I ever mend the schism. And I want to get rid of that Pope. And then maybe we can have actual, real, true crusades. I don't want to reform this. Because creating a new faith... That's just... That's just starting from zero. And we still don't want just to shike them. We want more. We are greedy. 71,000 troops. Uh, t tell you what. That's not going to be enough. I can tell you this. And we work through with the learned one here. Not even reading because we're just going to win anyway. And we'll be nice about it and be like... Excellent match. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, 31,000. Interesting, interesting. Maybe they won't get slapped around immediately. Okay, let's try and form a friendship with our Empress. Or 
have them form a friendship. Our concubines and everyone. Okay, okay. 31,000 coming here, 20,000 coming there. All right. Maybe this isn't so hopeless after all. Fawns. He wants to do forge a spear and he's competent. No, thank you. If you're not even going for magnificent, don't come into my court. Don't ask me silly questions. Okay, so right now they would be even winning. A great grandson. A Bartholomew. He will be. Let's see. We are in there. We got our troops right there. Right in the thick of it. It's a big shame that this army didn't come earlier. But they just cooked. <laughs> they get completely destroyed here. Shame. But. Our war score here. That exists. So I can't say we never came. I will dismiss this one. I don't even bother to set anyone. It's just... I don't know, we lost 6,000 men almost. 7,000. That's... That's a large number. And once this is done, we come for Frankia. West Frankia, here we come. We'll take your holy site in Santiago. Oh, right. Uh, after our army is defeated, they automatically kind of unhook from the other army. So let's send someone else in. Here, the grandson can do it. I'm sure he's a fine leader. And we'll just attach to... Okay, nothing, because they immediately run away. I have to pause once we can attach, so I can actually select someone. We'll go with the 8,000 here. See where they go. See what they do. I generally wouldn't say, okay, go with whatever the majority is doing, but... In Holy Wars... It isn't the worst idea. I will become the owner of this thing. Great. Thank you. Thank you for the artifact. Curses. Wait. Am I still trying to kill that girl? I don't need that. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> uh, thank you for the artifact. I appreciate it. It's so nice of you. I don't know what to do with it, but... I appreciate it, regardless. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's bring in the Crusader army again. Let's see them crushed. I wonder why. Ah, because I'm a comfort eater. That's the problem. That makes sense. We're still fine. And since we have been constantly trying to lose weight, we have a chance of recovering from that immediately, as you can see. Uh, stop giving me just random shikedoms. Darn it, lady. You're supposedly much better at your job. Oh, Valencia has actually started a war against maybe Al Andalus. Al Andalus. I think I would care much more about these random messages about, oh, your god, I was a fornicator. If I could actually do anything about it. Like, okay, he said that. What now? Not like I can just go and slap him around, you know? 
If I could, maybe I would, but I can't, so I shan't. I wish I had another statue. Could I, could I, could I build the statue? <gasps> oh. I mean, I do have furniture already. But only the statue goes into that slot. Let's have, let's have another furniture. Let's see. Perhaps the instrument of learning and knowledge. Sure. Let's see. I can't get a statue there. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Family members can get married. Okay. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? I'm going to look for Frankish women. <laughs> uh, okay. Already member of my family. It's fine. I'm going to look for Frankish women. Should probably just sort for that. Uh, culture. Frank. Kish. Culture. Ah. Okay. We cannot marry a single Frankish woman. Oh uh, boy. Claim on the kingdom of Vladimir. I mean, she's she's pretty good with that, so let's just do that. Let's see you matrilineally. Kingdom of Vladimir. Kingdom of Sweden. Uh, he has decent traits. Laos Lava. Uh, Okay, I'm already bored of doing that. So we'll... I mean, we arrange some. That must be enough. Can't arrange all of them. They have to do something themselves. So now that you have eaten yourselves fat on my stores, how about you go back into that war of yours? Oh, you're almost lost anyway. <laughs> right, but that means Frank, yeah. That means Frank, yeah, we're coming. So, all the Jour lands is nothing. We could go for our claims with all that, which also includes Santiago. And we'll start from here, basically. Walk our way over there. That'll be fine. So they have 98,000 troops and one ally who is not their ally. They're not going to join them. They're going to join me because they're my vassal. So uh, that's not going to happen. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our allies in here. Germany for sure. The sons of Vidokund. I don't think they can actually join. Let's see. Do we have some interesting house members? Oh, yeah. House members are good to have because they cost you nothing to bring into wars. So I'll just get them in. Very good. And now we raise our troops down here. As I said, we'll just fight our way across here. And I don't think he'll raise his armies there, but for once, we'll raise all. Every single soldier will be coming in now, and we'll see how it goes. Let's go for this. Excellent. People are coming in. Uh, let's go with the befriend thing here. We haven't befriended anyone in a while. How's our court looking? Oh, you could be a friend. Convert. And befriend. So everyone's kind of coming in. 
dude agrees to conversion, which immediately pumps him up to a much, much higher level of liking us. Uh, yeah. Dedicated to our beloved Bok. My warriors will be ready to fight for sure. Dear Pope, you know me. I'm always there with a soldier or two. You know I don't miss a good crusade. Okay, so at this point, we can still afford it. We're uh, 70, 70, 80,000 deep, 90,000 deep. We're almost fully raised. <gasps> we can't afford our full army. That is some amazing stuff. We can afford our full army at full strength. Now, this is going to change a little bit once we start losing troops. Which both means we pay less, but it also means that uh, we, well... So we split them just so we have two troops uh, with bombards. But it also means that we have to replenish our men at arms, so... It's a bit of a problem. Let's make sure we have siege leaders in. Okay, I don't need to take care of you. You already are going crazy fast because you're fighting something small here. The Germans are coming. So let's see how long we take. To go through southern France over to north west Spain. Or rather, what is Portugal today? Or parts of it, anyway. What? You want to give me a concubine? Oh. Who? Afrid. Now. She definitely would not serve me well as a concubine, but. Thank you for no notifying me that I need a new concubine. So we're still not going to get the little lover's pox one. Ah, the French. They appear on the field of battle. With very few troops. Ah, oh, there's the rest. Okay, we'll 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 seek battle right away. Our German friends are right there. Might as well finish this right here and now. It's good to have allies. And we'll just jump on that little army as well. Will we fetch them? Yeah. Alrighty, very good. And now... We keep working our way south. French have been soundly beaten here. The Germans don't know what I have in store for them, but the Franks, they know. The king brings us 50 gold. The king is appreciated for his, um, well, always making the very best effort. That is certainly the truth. Oh, an armillary sphere. Well, that's actually not bad. Thank you. Question is, can I put it in my court? Answer is, no. A solid blade. Uh, that's 80 gold in our pocket. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that is not something I can... <gasps> Yes! 
We can put it up. Can you look? Look at this. This looks so good. Why is it hidden behind the fireplace? That makes me sad. We have befriended someone. All ah, right, our our marshal. Should we also befriend our wife? Can we? No. She's already in love with us. Okay. Apparently love is greater than friendship. I'm not sure if I agree here, Crusader Kings. Let's check. Do we have vassals who should be our friends? You. You look very angry. I'd rather you be my friend than anything else. We might actually not even have to go to where we are meant to go to win this. Just by virtue of sieging everything down here. And by very much winning against the French. Can we split this army in a way where they can take on supplies anywhere? No. Oh, look at that. More allies are coming in. No siege commander here. Let's put one in. Speed this up. Ah, there it is. What? Okay, we had it for a second. I heard it. But we're merely at 99%. And the French are sending their troops again. Who? King Rogovold. The wolf, our chancellor and vassal. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, enjoy trying to enforce that. Wait a moment. So first we do this. Done. Done and taken care of. So finally, this is ours. So Santiago needs to reform right away. Everyone here needs to reform. Okay, you basically control everything down here, is that? Is that how it is? Everyone convert. So now what is this title stuff down here? Duchy of Galicia. Oh yeah, we got that, so we can grant it to someone down there. Uh, I don't know. We'll just give it to someone. Our grandson and chancellor. Somewhere. Enjoy. They're unlanded, but... Might as well. Can't I grant you a vassal? Eh, doesn't matter. So that's done. Meaning once all these are... Agreeing to convert. We got Santiago. Okay. Only Cologne is missing. So now... <laughs> we'll get a marriage going here. Maybe. A lot of grandsons. A granddaughter maybe? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> it's alright. I don't need an alliance with you. I don't need an alliance with you either. Uh, who? How do we have this alliance? Let's see. Oh, okay. We have a lot of marriages with the Germans. So this will take forever to... Oh? What is this now? A little bit falling apart. Okay, but something I wanted to check. So this guy, you have an unpressed claim on the Kingdom of Italy, huh? Unpressed claim. Um, let's get that strong hook on you for that murder secret we overheard. Let's make it, let's make it uh, useful for once. 
Okay, so we should be able to... Okay, now it's an act of tyranny. We'll expose a secret. Now we imprison him. Now we imprison him. Okay, but everyone knows he's a murderer. Why does no one... Why does no one think that's that's bad? Ah, let's have some tyranny at the end of our lifetime here. Everyone hates us for a little while. That's fine. You want you want a claim on the Empire of Italia? My lad. Dungeon. Uh execution. Maybe. No. Nah, dungeon. Dungeon will be fine. Dungeon will be just fine. We could also torture him. But his family members are not going to like it much. That's okay. Um, oh, cook. Yeah, it's lovely. Everyone wants to pay ransom for him. Well, not actually coming for other people, but someone immediately wants to pay ransom for him. Did I lose my chancellor there? Oh, such a shame. Look at that. We have a better one anyway. <laughs> Good old kingdom of Egypt helping us out. So, I still don't have any reasons to attack these people here. How? Shike them of that. Uh, I mean, okay, could push that. That's a very quick thing, probably. Ah, uh, let's do it. Ah, okay, no. In this case, actually, the war will end inconclusively for sure. So all we have left is Cologne. And once we have Cologne, we should be able to mend the Great Schism. I don't like this Catho Catholicism around here, so... Mend the Great Schism. Ah, we don't completely control Byzantium. Actually, we don't even need Cologne. We need Byzantium and we need Alexandria. So Alexandria is basically here. So let's go. Let's demand some conversions down here. That should be fine. And Byzantium... Well... I need a new claim on Constantinople. Let's go. <laughs> I'll just take their capital. That will break them eventually. Blessed be God, so that's fine. They are now converted. A few French people out of prison. So if we look at... Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? We'll just go through these people here. Get them to convert. Let's just push these, these timelines up a little bit. It can just be like, hey, the emperor, he wants to talk to you. Why? What does the emperor want? Ah, uh, nothing. He just wants you to convert. <laughs> does this help? Yeah. All we need is Byzantium. Ah, yes. Another friend for us. Blessed be God. Very good. They accept their conversions. We should definitely do that at least at home. You know, at least here, for example. You there. Okay. You there. Oh, okay. 
Okay, it's just the county. It's literally the county. It's not someone holding the county or something. Ah, that happens too. Convert. I will not have it. I will not suffer a heretic in my midst. Not here. Not now. Not as we are so close to mend the great schism. I mean, we don't have to control it, right? It could just be servant of the lamb, but I don't see that happening. Like, the faith is this, but the ruler is orthodox and he's not going to switch, so... The faith alone won't be enough unless everyone started converting in here. But they have already pushed back Servants of the Lamb in certain places. Like, there was more, I think. There's some creeping in, but not quite enough for my taste. So we'll, we'll wait a little bit. Until we have a claim produced. And then we'll take Constantinople. That's all we need. Too few concubines? No. I will not take the one with the lover's box. We'll just take the French prisoner. Who kind of hates us. Oh, well. Why is no one getting pregnant anymore? Our heir is actually getting old. I mean, we could just designate one. We have that power. But she is definitely preferred by everyone, so... That would not be good to put, put someone else in. We just need another child. How would you look at that? The... The Holy War is on again. I don't care. I'm not gonna send anyone this time. I have other plans. I have other plans. Speaking of which... Convert woman. Time to hit the books. 99% chance we learn the Arabic language. 0% chance we get stress. I'll take that chance, thanks. Let's seduce this one. 50% chance only. Oh, man. Then we'd rather go... Oh, 35% chance. Oh, oh, oh. We are losing our charms at our old age. This is speeding along nicely. Come on, Constantinople. Papa needs a schism mended. <gasps> oh, a new legacy thing. Close bonds. Close family opinion plus 10. Dynasty opinion plus 5. Personal schemes to assist chance. 30%. May create house paragon accolades. Oh. House members in an army with this knight are somewhat less likely to be wounded or killed. Monthly renown plus 15% on uh, rank 6 glory. There. Yeah. He's definitely the family man. He is definitely that. Time well spent. We could ac adopt a different culture. We're definitely not going to do that. We'll just take the language and be happy with it. Let's get confidence. Each friend adds minus 5% stress uh, stress gain, so we're at minus 25% stress gain now. We have definitely more than 5 friends, as you can see here. Look at all these happy little faces. How much will the claim on Byzantium cost, I wonder? A thousand? Two thousand? Euphrosine? It's a cute name. Nothing I would give a child today, but, you know. I can transfer this lad to her. Sure. Stressed because I'm greedy. Oh god. Little Benedict. 
A little David. Let's go. I must rid myself of these problems. Oh, all of Thrace will be mine. For 80 gold? Uh, are you kidding me? Buddy. I'm coming for this. Minus 697 gold. Oh boy. Attack anyway. So I don't think this war will be invalidated. We'll definitely get our house members in here. Oh. Now it would have been invalidated already. Let's get the Germans in this one. They were so very helpful before. Not that we need it. They have what? 80,000. So we will raise everyone. We need to be a little bit careful. We'll raise them here, I think. And we'll just raise all again because we know that we can afford it. I was still friends with the French. A book about warfare, merely decent. No thanks. A court event is available, uh huh. Let's be charming. What's going on here? Finger bones of an emperor. The Psalter of Cuckoldry artifact. Okay, 450 gold, we'll take it. Is it a cord artifact? No. It's a regular one, let's see. Is it actually good? No. <laughs> okay, it's, it's horrible. In every which way. Let's destroy our shame, we were bamboozled. We watched too much nighttime television and made a very, very bad choice about a book purchase. All right, everyone, let's get together here and we'll jump on that castle there, I should think. And then we'll just fight our way down. Let's hold court. Who's the first? County of Tarno. No, I'm not giving this away. No. You ask too much, there must be some other way. You get a mercantile charter. I'm fine with that. Let's see. An election will be early. Yeah, I don't care. Early election. Doesn't matter. All beneath us. We're so close to mending that schism. Um, sure. Go with that. Business is done. I'm back to warfare. So luckily these keeps seem a little bit underdeveloped, so it should be a quick work for us. And we'll split them and send one army ahead immediately. And we'll make sure that they get a siege master and that this army also get a siege master. Just because we want to fight through this quickly. Now we could likely go deeper immediately. Due to having the ocean right there. But why not go like this?
Again? Oh man. So, big question, where is where are his armies? I don't quite know. Do I need to know? No. Let's march on Byzantium immediately. Which could be a mistake, depending on where his armies are. Like if they just pop up right over here across the Bosporus, we're in a bit of a heap of trouble there. Um, no, you got what you deserved. You wanted that empire title? There you go. That's the dangers you take on when wanting an empire title. Let's write down our thoughts. Let's get a little bit of stress reduction. Also, let's go and lash out at someone. Nah, we're not going to do that. We'll meditate in seclusion instead. And we'll do it... Difficult and dangerous. We'll go with the blue skies of somewhere and we'll start traveling. Always nice to travel during wartime. You never know who you might meet. Well, this keep here is pretty strong, pretty tough. We'll just keep sieging stuff here. Well, that's Byzantium taken. Sadly, the Germans do not continue their siege there. They should have. Where are the Byzantines? Where are these fools? I'll just take the armor off of him, take the money, and run. Then we can keep confusing our ally here. He doesn't know what to do with his troops. He doesn't understand my military, tactical, and strategic genius. I think my daughter's having a lot of fun. At least we're getting a lot of messages about their Tinder activity here. Like I care. I do not. They can do Tinder however they would like. As long as they don't bring shame upon our house. 145 gold. Nice. I'll go there. How much gold is in here? 128. Where are the Byzantines? This is the question of the ages right now. I mean, it seems they're facing their own rebellion or something. Yep. There are some enemies from that rebellion right there. That just ran into our armies getting bonked about. Oh, look at that. A Byzantine army. A real one. Not imagined or anything. An actual, honest-to-God Byzantine army. Like, they're leaving, but they are there. They exist. Could I get my army, please? Thank you. I don't want them to starve, really, but... Okay, so let's split them up a little bit. These are very rich and well-developed lands, so we can easily resupply here without having to split too much. Which is good for us. 
And with this siege, maybe we have one anyway. Yep. They never even showed up. Well. Okay. So now we hold Constantinople. Very good. So now let's bring our troops back to resupply lands. And we can mend the Great Schism, which we will finally do. One god, one church. So what will happen? Establish itself as the only legitimate branch of Christianity. Servants of the Lamb forever increased by 25, like we needed. Every Christian faith with ecumenism. Uh, loses special tolerance, ecumenism. One god, one church. The universal church has been restored. With the pentarchy firmly under servants of the lamb control, in an unexpected turn of events, both the Pope in Rome and the Patriarch of Constantinople are no longer able to deny the primary uh, primacy of servants of the lamb over all other branches of Christianity. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean the Pope is finally seeing the light? No, he's still Catholic. Oh, good God. Will this never end? This absolute horror. Well, I mean, we mended the schism. Let's see. Let's give him a moment to deal with it. Ah, yes. Servant of the Lamb are spreading now. Yeah, look at that. It's spreading. Let's see, we lose the trade greedy and we become generous. Okay, so we lose money. And that's a lot of money that we're losing. We go from plus 10% to minus 10. So that's that's a big jump. Now our armies are, cost are costing money again? Oy vey. That's not what I bargained for. No concern of ours, so be it. And he's still a Catholic Pope calling these Holy Crusades. Let's disband our troops. No point in losing money here. <sighs> okay, there's nothing for it. There's nothing for it. We might have to do another Great Schism immediately. <laughs> How do I get rid of the, t of the Pope? The papacy doesn't exist anymore. The papal seat is ours. The Great Schism is mended. It's just... <sighs> Maybe we get wounded. We beat the links, we're not wounded. Very good. Good on us. We took... The Byzantine capital right from under their nose. We have fought the French. We fought everyone, except for Germany, and yet we are still being led by a fool, an utter and complete fool. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we did a lot, and I think we'll leave it here for now. I hope you enjoyed. If you're watching over on Twitch, thank you so much. Maybe go check out the YouTube as well. Leave a follow if you haven't already. Otherwise, if you're watching on YouTube, maybe check out the Twitch as well. We stream three times a week. Monday, Crusader Kings, Saturday, Crusader Kings, and Tuesday is kind of variety stuff. Sometimes Crusader Kings, sometimes other things. Definitely do leave a like if you could, and 
I hope to see you around next time. Have a very nice evening or day, whatever time it is for you. Thanks so much. And until then, bye-bye.